Hi everybody, I am Cookie Doll and welcome back to another episode of our Victoria 3 Let's Play as Grand Columbia where we are in the last few years of the game and have been heavily hampered by our lack of population. Uh, we have a pretty decent GDP. We are number 8 in the world, uh, just behind the US. Yeah, at about 7 million behind the US. Uh, above Prussia, above Spain, which is great. Uh, our uh, literacy could be a little better. Uh, again, we could have more innovation, uh, mainly by building more uh, universities. Uh, but unfortunately, again, hampered by our uh, uh, population here. Our standard of living is number one in the world by a pretty decent margin, by more than one uh, over uh, Belgium and two over Hesse. Uh, and our population has been steadily rising, which is great. There was a, a bit of a dip in this area here. But I think we are just limited by that. Our uh, loyalists are fantastic because our taxation, taxation is at the lowest level. As is our government wages are on max and military wages are on max. Uh, we are doing a... Uh, no constructions at the moment. Uh, we are doing a bunch on our private constructions due to laissez-faire. But again, nothing much I can do as I don't have any sort of uh, population to man all of these buildings. For example, in Bolivar here, uh, we just have a shortage of all of the main services like uh, electricity, uh, the services itself, and transportation, but it just does not want to hire people or cannot hire people as we do not have any peasants to speak of. Uh, anyways, I will unpause, let the game go. There's not much really we can do. Uh, we can start making some more stuff like more car uh, motor industries. But then again, I mean, we are quite limited as to the peasants. Uh, we could get some more in Condon America. So, you know what? Let's get four more in Canada, America. Why not? We have some sort of uh, people working there. And also, on that note, I do want to build maybe more... Okay, you could go with the electric trains. So let's get you to do the electric trains. Have a little more infrastructure here. Uh, yeah, 240. So you are a little better on the infrastructure might be able to freedom of thought was successfully completed those who seek to think boldly and freely are increasingly finding Grand Columbia to be one of the safest places to explore their ideas arts academy building throughput university building throughput uh, you know what there's art is quite expensive so let's just do this for five years yeah why not let's do this and then hopefully we can make some more money on our art would be quite nice. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing pretty decent. We can always switch to oil here, which should be fine. Uh, so let's just see how all of that goes. Uh, another thing I was thinking of attacking Bolivar, I mean uh, Peru, Bolivia here uh, to take uh, these five provinces that are against the coast here and to form the uh what is it again uh federation of the andes uh but unfortunately peru bolivia is in a defensive pact with the brits uh and uh, we are in the british union but unfortunately i don't think that's going to help us at all because they will join their side no matter what uh, let's go improve some relations with some random people here. Uh, could be pretty good, uh, just so that they don't do anything weird and try to attack us, you know. Safety in numbers. So yeah, let's just do this 
Russia is pretty good. Yeah, let's get the US on our side. We could do something with Brazil, but we did just end the war with them. Well, technically against Austria-Hungary, they attacked us for a bunch of our provinces. And Brazil ended up joining on, on their side, uh, including, was it Spain? No, Russia. It was exactly, it was Russia that ended up joining there as well. Uh, but for now, we will just do what we can and just kind of let the time go by. If something interesting happens like this defensive pact breaking, we might just go ahead and attack uh, those guys, uh, the Peru Bolivians, and take those provinces. Uh, we could use some more silk. It's decently expensive. We do have some uh, synthetic plants here, and we could do... Oh, do we not have rayon yet? Okay, we're doing it. So in nine months, we will have the art silk. So, okay, that is right. Uh, we could do more of this. More telephones is always good. More automobiles. Okay, let's get more telephones and rubber. This is where all my rubber is. Yes. And again, hampered by all of our things. There is also some rubber in here. But not enough people to be hired. Ecuador, you have some rubber, no? Yes, you do, which is already fully staffed. Pastaza, you have some rubber. Just not enough people to work there. Uh... Let's get you three of these. There we go. Let's do that. For now. Uh, electronics. Where could we... Okay, there we go. We get more elevators. Uh, yeah, maximum infrastructure. That's good. Infrastructure per 100,000. Yeah, land trade capacity. Max reconstruct... Yeah, construction secret... Sector max level. That is all fine. Uh, Kauka, let's get you four of these. Okay, you do have some peasants, just not enough qualifications. So, why are you not hiring these guys? Okay, not enough engines. That's the thing here. And you can't do anything with that. Could we... Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're doing that. Yeah, these people are getting more... People to hopefully join it. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I think if we go with you here. To get you more education access here. You might be able, because you do have some peasants. So if they have some education, they could be hired in the railway. Fortunately, I can't reduce the number of this okay yeah let's see how that will end up going yeah electricity still in the boulevard is a bit expensive so Miranda has kind of calmed down a little bit railway is still quite expensive which is kind of ridiculous that transportation is so expensive but it is mostly expensive because we are using all of uh, the transportation on our uh, on our se other sectors like uh, the oil fields and the farms and all of that, which is fine. But yeah, now just Bolivar needs to increase its. its population again it is doing stuff as much as it can 
Uh, it is gaining 2.8k per year, is this? Okay, so yeah, 2.8k per year. Which is pretty good. It's a decently high... Again, uh, not as high as... Okay, you're not as high. Uh, Zulia, I think, has the most. Yeah, Zulia is at about 60. Uh, how's Miranda doing? Yeah, Miranda is nice at 66. Uh, Guevara actually is the highest because we are running one of our... Uh... Okay, we do have a fascist party. Uh, but we are running this here. Uh, develop Amazonian State. Uh, again, it does do a bit more of... Uh, uh, mortality unfortunately but we do get a whole lot more uh, migration attraction so that is what I do like to do here which that is why Guevara is getting so much more uh, people in here which hopefully we can do something about because it still does need or has a bunch of buildings to fill uh, with workers here but we will see what we can do here. So, who is in the fascist party now? Okay, we got the petite bourgeoisie. Uh, but that's fine. The communist party, who now actually has the intelligentsia in with them, is winning quite handily. And our free trade party is quite low, even though our industrialists have a pretty good uh, uh, government call out here uh, okay so art silks we are almost there in about five weeks okay, can't get more uh, okay we, we both are yeah sure let's get you that that's fine not much I can do yeah I'm just gonna wait till art silk is done in about three weeks and then we will just go ahead and change some production methods here also Peru Bolivia how are you on okay now you also have a defensive pact with Chile I'm not scared of Chile quite scared of uh, the Brits uh, however here oh we actually passed the US beautiful now we're ahead of the US in that that is awesome uh, okay art silk is done hold on let me see here memento will be added to the communist party okay yeah that's fine that's okay that's all good and dandy all right uh, we do have the art silk, which is great. It's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, pasteurization should help us out a bit as well. Uh, dough rollers might help as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the dough rollers. Do you require actually... No, you don't. You just need more tools. That's a-okay. All right, silk is decently expensive, so if we go to our synthetic plants, uh, I think we should have enough people for all of that. So yeah, let's get you to do this. Uh, Zulia should have enough people for this as well. Well, not enough qualifications, but let's get you to do that. You might be able to hire some more people. At least make a little more money. So silk is a little slightly better. Also, something we can do here. Uh, this is for rubber plantations. Yeah, let's get you to Guevara. So you are the one that does a lot more rubber than anything else. Uh, we could use some more wood stuff. I don't know if any... Actually, let me go state by state. It probably would be better that way. Uh... Sure, let's get the paper mill throughput. Yeah, 
yeah, let's get this assimilation is better. Uh, okay, you are a little bit expensive on that front. Plus, you do already have electric mills no matter what. You're a little bit expensive on that. Electric sawmills would get you even more expensive. Are you already on oil? I think you are. Yes, you are. Let's build you another one of these. And then we'll see with that. Okay, and the Communist Party has won. We could get the Petite Bourgeoisie. It'll be at 88%. Probably these guys. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay. Not gonna do the Petite Bourgeoisie. No need for the Fascist Party. Let's just keep it at 100. That is A-OK. -okay. Any other interesting laws no 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 uh could probably do universal suffrage i think i may do that do have rights of assembly presidential republic could go switch right at the end to uh communist but no thanks total suffrage you know what let's go ahead and do uh universal suffrage why not why not let our let everyone vote is great apostaza uh, and miranda Pastaza, unfortunately nothing much i can do for you actually i could Let's try it. This might help just with the limited amount of people that are in there. Okay. Uh, is that helping at all in here with the qualifications? Can't say that it is. Yeah, not much that is being hired. Okay, yeah, the rubber is definitely the most annoying thing. Um, submarine unlocked, that is A-OK. -okay. Do you have any rubber? You don't. Pastaza, you have rubber. Kuka has some rubber now. No, you don't. Yeah, Pastaza is the one with the rubber. I did just build these here and nothing much I can do about that. Bolivar, Bolivar, and Miranda. Yeah. Again, nothing, nothing I can do. Sure, let's get the public motor carriages, which will include increase some of that. Okay, just needs more power. Yeah, nothing I can do. Okay, we're in study on here. That's fine. Okay, Miranda, let's build you one of these. Why not? Let's see if we can do anything with that. Probably not. Number seven, would we be able to catch whoever is next? Come on now. Oh, come on, game. Russia is next. Yeah, they're 20 million away. I'm definitely not going to be able to catch them. Again, I am, I am very pleased with this run. I mean, uh, the only limiting factor is our population. Uh, unfortunately, nothing much we can do. So we are getting a decent amount of people coming in, like 68.1. Like it's basically on par with uh, the North American states. Uh, you know, Texas 72, 
Uh, Guevara actually was at 70 or something. Miranda is at 77. Zuli is at 75. We are getting in people right now. Uh, we had a bit of an issue not getting him at some points uh, due to just a lack of our laws. And I just kind of slacked off and uh, increasing some of these uh, institutions here, which I probably should do. Uh, let's get the dangerous working conditions here. Increase more stuff. Not like I don't know what else really I can do with that. Uh, here we got 3,000 peasants that can't work anywhere because they do not have the qualifications for anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nothing else we can do. We are making so much money. Uh, again, still defensive pact here. Nothing much. Uh, we are basically having six years left. Okay, this is it stalled. Uh, yeah, sure, let's just do that. Uh, yeah, basically six years left uh, now after this turns into 1930. And, uh, yeah, that is all we can do. All we can do. H how long is our... Yeah, we still have our truce here for 15 months till 1931. We have a defensive pact with both Russia and Austria-Hungary. Yeah, nothing I can do. Let's do relations with you. Why not? And let's do relations with you as well. Uh, I can't believe Prussia has been absolutely nothing here. Has done nothing. Austria-Hungary actually took over uh, Bavaria. Oh, Jesus Christ. So slow. They took over Bavaria. They took over Wittenberg, uh, Franconia, uh, Baden, and uh, Rhineland here. And they are in some sort of a play against the Romania. Hold on, hold on. Okay, the Austro-Hungarians are helping these guys. What is this? Regime change in the French Commune. Okay, this is for them. Ban slavery. And they want to conquer some stuff. Because I think, oh yeah, yeah, France does have this. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, Romania, the Brugia. Yeah. It's all fun and games over here. Okay, and our standard of living keeps rising. Now we're almost... Not too away from Belgium, basically. Okay, pasteurization is unlocked. That means... I can save some more room in our whaling stations, let's say. So, Panama. Let's see if he can do you with that. Let's get you to do this as well. Ecuador. You'll do this, Lima, and then you can do this here as well. That's beautiful. Uh, fisheries here as well. Panama. Let's get you to do this. Get some more people in here. Antiquia. Yeah, let's get you to do that. Coca, save you some more people. Yeah, Miranda, that's fine. Oops, now that was Zulia. Miranda, I don't think I can do this. Well, I could. It'll save you some more people, so we'll see what that'll do to us. Ecuador. Yeah, you do that. And Lima, you do that as well. Boom, there we go. So now we saved us some more people. Okay. What will that do here in Bolivar? Almost darn nothing. Miranda, 
Nothing. Zulia, uh, a drop in the bucket. Antiquia does have some stuff, so... Yeah, cars. So, Antiquia, let's get you to do three more of these. Panama, did that help you at all? Not really. Let's get you to do that. Okay, it's a little bit cheaper. She doesn't really have any insane shortages now, so I think these guys could do some stuff. We do have the Panama Canal, who obviously not. Again, the Panama Canal doesn't do anything except give you prestige. There should be some sort of tariffs or something to give you. Because I don't understand what, unless I subsidize it, it does no income whatsoever, which obviously is very flawed. There definitely needs to be something in the game to really do incentive besides prestige. And it only gives, I can't remember, what was it, like 10 prestige, 20 prestige? That's the only incentive for anyone to be building any of these canals, whether it's the Panama Canal or the Suez. Uh, other than that, they don't provide any other service, just the prestige. If there was some sort of tariffs or something that anyone coming through here would pay me, uh, that that would be great. It, it would be much more incentiv incentivized for people to be building it. So, but nothing like that exists, unfortunately. Okay, Kauka has some room. Uh, let's build you four of those. Uh, Ecuador, you don't have any room. Lima, you don't have any room. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. That is fine. Okay. And there we go. We got universal suffrage. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think anything else I really need or can pass at this time. Yeah, these guys are heavily outnumbered. I can't, literally can't build anything Bolivar and Miranda. Zulia, not really either. Okay, okay, they're neutral. Okay, that's fine. Um, Antiquia, we could build you some because you do have some unemployment. Uh, which we are building you these. Uh, let's build you two more steel mills as well. Uh, glass, not really necessary. Uh, let's build you three of these. And then we'll see how that goes. Universities is... Oh, uh, yeah. I could do an analytical philosophy department as well. It's all the way up down here. It's going to take five years, which we basically will be right at the end of. So let's just queue it up and see how that goes. But for now, uh, I will put a cut in here. We are basically just having a few more... Le uh, five years, just a little over five years left. Uh, but yeah, for now, thanks a lot for coming and watching another episode. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.